Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a new pen day. Yes, this is a Sailor Pro Gear that I purchased off of Amazon. And you know what? It looks just a little bit, I mean, it looks classic, but just a little bit boring, you know? I mean, it's got the beautiful clip and it's just that classic black fountain pen and it has a lovely two-tone 21 karat medium nib. But I don't know, is there something that I could do to brighten up this pen? I don't know. In comes this package from Just Turnings. Well, actually two packages from Just Turnings. Stephen of Just Turnings sent these to me a little while ago, and it is his line called the Brighten Your Own Pen. So this is a way for you to still be able to get the advantage of using the, for example, the nib on a Sailor Pro Gear, but paired up with a really, really beautiful resin. So, Stephen has included this beautiful pen sleeve. And then this is what I chose. I'll actually grab the card out here. So this is the Just Turnings. It's the Mimas range and it's the Just Turnings gold and pink abalone. So this was resin poured by Stephen and his wife. And I just think it's going to brighten up my Sailor Pro gear beautifully. So here we go. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? So it comes, well, I wanted this pink and gold abalone because even on camera, you can't see it as well, but there's flecks of pink in there and then the gold and it's just this beautiful resin. And then I asked for a gold clip and the metal detailing here just to add a little bit of something, but to also match the gold or the dual toned nib that's on here. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to brighten up your Sailor Pro Gear. So when it comes, it comes like this, but then you uncap that, there's no nib. So how easy is it to brighten up this Sailor Pro Gear? You literally unscrew this and I purchased a converter to go with this because most Sailor Pro Gears don't come with a converter, but that's a whole other issue. And then Steven has made it so that the threads in the body here work well and pair up with the threads on the Sailor Pro Gear. So that you have here, and the body is long enough to handle that converter, you have here a new pen essentially with the nib and the grip section from the Sailor Pro Gear. So you go from having a very classic but kind of plain looking black Sailor Pro Gear to a beautiful black and pink gold and pink abalone from Just Turnings. So this really is a unique one-of-a-kind pen. It feels beautifully comfortable in my hand. And then it has that beautiful two-toned Sailor Medium 21 karat nib. And I was very particular about which Sailor Pro Gear I purchased off of Amazon. I wanted to make sure that it was a Sailor Pro Gear, but it also had the two-toned nib because there are some Sailor Pro Gibs out, Pro Gibs, <laughs> Pro Gear nibs that are just one tone in the gold or one tone in all of the silver. So I wanted to make sure that it was the two-tone 21 karat gold. Now, before I do a writing test with that, there was a second package that Steven sent, which I was not expecting. And this one comes in a cute little pen sleeve. And these pen sleeves, Steven said, are actually made by someone local to him. And he, I guess, buys all the pen pouches from him. And I love that. I think I have, I'm gonna count here, one, two, three, four, maybe five or six of these from Steven already. And I'm so happy with these. So this is, I'm gonna show you, this is the Brighten Your Own Pen for the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And this is in the Mimas range. So the Mimas range are the ones, the resins that are turned by Steven and his wife. And it is called the Just Turnings Peacock. So let's open that up. Wow. Look at all the beautiful colors in that 
like that is stunning so then it comes just like it does for the other brighten your own pen there's no nib so what do you do i'm gonna take my sailor pro gear slim this is my pro gear slim in the chocolate pudding it is currently inked up so i'm gonna be a little bit careful with it and you basically unscrew the grip and the body and then you take the grip section with the converter so he's made it long enough so that the converter will fit in there and then he's also done the threads on the body so that it will thread along for the sailor pro gear slim and look at that you have basically a new pen this one is definitely smaller than the original one that i have here for the sailor pro gear but it is such a cute little pen so if you ever did want to brighten up your sailor pro gear slim steven also has these available for the pro gear slim i believe he also has them from the plat for the platinum 3776 i would definitely check out his instagram so all of his information is here so on just turning so on facebook as well as on instagram and what i love about these two pens here is the fact that you have basically taken I, I don't want to say a boring pen but I mean the classic looking pen of the pro gear and made it into something a lot more unique using the um, resins turned by Stephen. So I'm going to actually compare the length of this to the other pens that I have from Stephen as well as other pens in my collection and then I'll do a quick writing sample with this pen. So I'll just show you here. This is the original Sailor Pro Gear and then whoops, the Brighten Your Own pen from Just Turnings and then I'm going to compare it to an Esterbrook SD. I'm going to compare it to a Waterman Karen. I'm also going to pull out, let's see here, pull out a Lamy 2000 and one more pen that I want to pull out to compare it to is the Pilot Vanishing Point. So you can see here the difference in size, you know, going from the Sailor Pro Gear and how much bigger this Brighten Your Own pen makes that. And I think when it came down to the Sailor Pro Gear, this was a pen that I would have to post and it would still be comfortable to write with, absolutely. Whereas with the Brighten Your Own pen from Steven, it doesn't really post, but it would make it too long to post anyway. But even in that length, in that in my hand, it is actually very comfortable. So let's look at all of these unposted. So there are all of the pens unposted. You see that the Sailor Pro Gear, even if it had the nib or the grip section attached to it, it is the shortest out of all of these pens. Whereas the Just Turnings is about the same length, if not a little bit longer than the Esterbrook SD. And if we're looking at the width of both of these, I think it's actually, that's why it's so comfortable because the widths of these are very, very similar. And then in terms of the length of the Waterman Karen, it's also very similar in length to the Just Turning's Golden Pink Abalone, but the Waterman Karen is definitely narrower. And then you have the Lamy 2000, which I really, really like this pen. It was a pen that I never thought I would like uh, as much as I do but I like it because of the shape of its body, the length, and that is one of the reasons why I also like this size of pen because it is comfortable for me to hold. So I'm going to do a quick weighing in of that pen and then I will do a quick writing sample. So the Just Turnings pen with the Sailor Pro Gear grip section and nib in there is 31 grams and then uncapped make sure you stay is 20 20 grams and then the cap itself is 12 grams so for those who are interested in how many turns it takes to be able to put it back on or hold on so how many turns it takes to uncap you've got one A little over one and a half just before one and a quarter and then I'll also go ahead and weigh the 
just uh, just turning's brighten your own pen for the sailor pro gear slim so capped with the grip section is 20 grams and then uncapped it is 15 grams making the cap just a little over five it's actually such a very light pen this one does not post at all so this might be a little bit too small for some people who actually find the pro gear slim a smaller pen but it is an option out there it would be a really really cute pocket pen and a way to brighten up your sailor pro gear slim if you needed something a little bit different so i will do a quick writing sample with the uh, Sailor Pro Gear nib in my new Just Turnings gold and pink abalone. So here we are then with the writing sample. So this is actually, this is going to be hard for me to figure out. How do I write this down? Do I write this down as a, as the Sailor Pro Gear or do I write it down as the Just Turnings? But I think I'm going to do near the Just Turnings. and Sailor Pro Gear. And then I'm basically going to take information from the card here. So it is the bring or brighten your own pen for the Sailor Pro Gear. And it is in their Mimas range in the gold and pink abalone and this is the sailor pro gear 21 carat medium nib gosh it's so smooth and then the ink that i currently have in here is dimine Cashmere Rose. I do love the Sailor Medium Nib. It's so smooth. You do get that Sailor feedback and it's not scratchy. This one, there's a little bit of scratch going in that direction. So I'm wondering if there's a little bit of an alignment that I gotta look at. But otherwise, it's actually, how is it for wetness? Pretty good for wetness. Yeah, it's a beautiful 21 karat medium nib from Sailor, and I think it's beautiful. I love that. I love that I now have a Sailor nib that goes on this beautiful resin, and it's so unique, so different from anything else that I have. So those are my two new pens or pen bodies from Just Turnings. You have the Just Turnings Peacock in the Sailor Pro Gear Slim size, which is holding my grip section from my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Christmas pudding. And then we have the Just Turnings Gold and Pink Abalone, which I think matches perfectly with the Sailor Pro Gear 21 karat nib there. I'm just, I love that. And the black section of that actually helps to bring out some of the black that is in that abalone as well without overpowering it. I think the two are just a beautiful combination. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you so much to Steven for sending these two Brighten Your Own pens for my sailors. I'm really excited to use this next month and I can't believe just how beautiful this is. Like, I just, I can't stop turning this. I don't know if you can catch all of the pink that's in there, but the bright pink has been muted a bit by the gold and the white that's in there but when you do see those pops of pink it's just fascinating and stunning again thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day